Hey, what's up? Rashad Jones here. Today, follow-up video. I want to talk about um, Mike, Samsung G-Track Pro. And we get a lot of questions about it just in some of the comment sections on a couple of videos that I've made. And I really just want to address some of the um, lingering things that I saw. One, people that are having audio issues with the mic. The first thing I would suggest that you do is buy a new cord. I know this sounds like a very simple thing. Like, fam, I just bought this mic. It came with a cable. Why do I need a new one? Because the one that's supplied from Samsung is not really good. You can even search through Amazon, look at reviews and things of that nature. You can have, see a lot of people saying the same thing. So number one, buy a new cord. If you're having any audio issues, having problems with connectivity, if it's not really sounding the best when you have your recording, a lot of static, a lot of, you know, um, almost digitized, um, just garbled mess. Yo, new cord. I've had this cord ever since about two weeks after I bought it, and it's, it's been doing pretty good since. By the way, all the sound is going to be raw sound. And of course, right now I'm using it in, in cardio. It'll just face up front. And then there's other the other features too that you can use. Like you can use a figure eight for the, for the front and the back of the mic, and you can use Omni if you're in a situation where you want to have entire sound from everywhere. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch between the modes just to tell you this. Is, you can see how it sounds. So this is going to be figure eight. Still should sound the same, but if I turn it around, I should also get the same basically the same sound too. The first one I was using again was cardioid, and this is going to be Omni. You should pretty much be hearing reverberation from everywhere because it's trying to pick up sound regardless of where I am, in front of it, beside it, you know, behind the mic. So I should be getting sound from all around. Also, for like talking head stuff like this, uh, pretty much just record it in, in mono so you can have like full sound, just both sides. There's no need for stereo for this. I'm not like, you know, out here. It's not a guitar or anything. I'm just my voice. So... Put it in, in, in mono. Also, be aware of your levels. Be aware of your levels. Make sure it's not peaking or anything. Um, when you're recording, the, the light should stay green the entire time. If it's going to red or yellow, of course, if it goes to yellow, that means you muted it by mistake. Um, if it goes to red, it's peaking. Another thing, too, people ask, oh, so what do you have it standing on? Today, I just have it on my desk because I use this primarily for my Zoom setups. I'm in class. I've been doing a lot of Zooming lately, you know, podcasting as well. So I just put it on my desk and I just I can have it. And it's a lot simpler. Before, I had it on a tripod when that was my primary mic. But now I have a uh, pod mic for Rode. It's in the back over there. And I use that as my, you know, my, my setup for my podcast. But yeah, you can put it on, you can put this on a tripod if you want to. It's going to be heavy because this is a, not a light mic at all. Because it's, it's a really quality made mic. So it it's has some, some heft to it, so to speak. So make sure that you either figure out how to get the balance straight or, you know, just get a counterbalance, whether it be like a bag or, you know, you put something heavy in it so you can just balance the weight so you can have it even and it won't you know slump over samson g-track pro is probably one of the most versatile mics you can buy and for 130 dollars i mean it does a really good job in a couple of different ways of course you can hook this up to your ipad or or even your um your phone it just depends on how you want to use it if you do use it with your with your ipad you need some sort of a usb usb-c um hub if you're using it for your phone you're gonna need one of these all right and if you know anything about the iPhone in regards to um, attachments, number one attachment. And you know, if you don't have that, you can have you can use these. This like the USB camera um, adapter. I think that's what it's called for the um, i for the um, for the iPad. That's all I have today. I hope you guys um, are enjoying yourselves watching my videos. I appreciate you guys almost to 100 on the road to 500. So if you haven't, please go ahead and subscribe, like, share, comment below. And until the next time, please make sure you're having fun doing what you do best.